Looking for emblem pieces. You know, it took 20 videos for me to notice it, but when when Goofy is running at the camera, mm -hmm. that that gate has got to be murder on his hips. <laughs> it looks bad, yeah. It looks real bad. Bad for him. So, okay, we're... we're... Mm hmm Doing some some odd jobs in the library of Hollow Bastion. <laughs> hey, it's where that cutscene was. With it's the... a good thing the beast isn't with you, because he'd just be breaking down weeping like <laughs> just seeing a big library, all the memories. Oh, it's too painful God. right now. Yeah. Being a real sad sack. No, you you only need to, to move it the one. Yeah, so for some reason Sora just can't stop it. <laughs> so instead you have to rotate this an arbitrary amount of times, which I think is four times? Maybe you could push it gently. Just a little. A, a, a little more gently. You could stop it by putting Goofy's head in on the side there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and make a little hollow coconut noise. It'd be great. We love that shit. Yeah. Yes, this is another little puzzle room. We gotta find the correct books to slot into different different shelves to open up a dip, bunch of different little secret areas. Oh, button, button. It would be very funny if uh, difficulty level in this game affected the difficulty of the, the puzzles in here, like mm. a Silent <laughs> Hill does. Suddenly you had to know a lot about Shakespeare to get through this fucking library room in, <laughs> in Hollow Bastion. Oh yeah, green time. Let's go. I think the green one's my favorite one. Making it a little ladder. It's very silly. Yeah. Yellow. Yellow's a big letdown. It really is. It's it. There's nothing goofy... There's nothing funny happening there. They just push. And mathematically, it should be at least one third goofy. <laughs> yeah. That's what you'd expect. Uh huh. Oh. I don't want to read Saleg. <laughs> Sounds bad. Yeah, it's, it's some type of foodborne illness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just uh, the, the new speak term for getting salmonella from <laughs> undercooked eggs. Yeah. Oh, Goofy, I got a bad case of the sal egg. <laughs> I can't make it. Goofy's very confused because he's never seen a library before. <laughs> <laughs> what are these objects? <laughs> I like I, when I do my bad Goofy voice and uh, Jess in the background doing other stuff can only hear my end of the conversation, so <laughs> she's just hearing these random Goofy things I'm saying. <laughs> There you go. You've oh, earned finally. your your like five dollars and twenty five cent part time. <laughs> Yay! Wage. Yay! I'm so close to being able to buy the best hits release of Kingdom Hearts One. <laughs> it's only twenty dollars at GameStop right now. No, well, ho hopefully you'll also uh, have some gainful employment for for the other puzzles in the other rooms. Mm -hmm. Hey, duck can fly. Just a little bit. So we got some floating chests up here that you can't mm. reach. Mm. Took me forever to figure out how to do this as a kid. You gotta cast gravity on them. Ah. There you go. It seems tricky because it's so simple. Mm-hmm. We don't have time to walk into the elevator. You if these objects can teleport you, why are there wonk evaders? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> A 
later elevator rides get sped up because, uh, wow, they take a long time sometimes. <laughs> Just look at the backgrounds. Look at the architecture. Look mm -hmm. at the steam, I guess? Vapor? <laughs> yeah. There, there's certain pipes that are just blasting bubbles out, too. That's fun. <laughs> Not allowed. Mm. There we go. Oof. Yeah. Just, just cutting out some of those elevator rides a little bit. Oh, and also, uh, as I was uh, about oh. to leave, I completely forgot there's other treasure chests in here. Of course there are. Almost forgot. Gotta get all these parts for the gummy ship you're not gonna build. Mm hmm I, I will have to go back and just build one good gummy ship just to show what it's like <laughs> at the end. Yeah, I always thought it was a little weird, uh, coming, like, getting Beast as a party member, but you don't actually get a Beauty and the Beast world in this game. Always mm -hmm. made me wonder if that was something that maybe got cut, mm -hmm. but they still had Beast already there. Uh, it, it's not a crisis if nothing bad has really happened. Yeah. There, there's gotta be some worlds that are just wrecked. Yeah. In addition to, to the 101 Dalmatians one. <laughs> yeah. Um, it does remind me, there is some cut content that has been, like, you know, found in the files of the original game's Ooh. release. Um, so, like, on the, the world map where you see all the different Disney worlds you can fly to, you can always see, like, the, the Magic Kingdom in the upper left. You can never go there, though. You only see in some cutscenes at the start of the game, but there is some data left in the game that implies that, yeah, you were originally supposed to be able to actually go there, because there's, like, rooms in... for that world that were built that have collision that you can run around, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you just never get to, uh... Fire! Never get to go to. And I forget if it's this game or Kingdom Hearts 2. I think it might be Fire! this game that had a cut summon, which was, uh, Fire! Woody from Toy Story? Ooh! <laughs> yeah. That might have been Kingdom Hearts 2, actually, but either way, yeah, a cut summon. Toy Story summon. There you go. Yeah. Got one on what appears to be a sacrificial altar of some sort. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very normal. It's a perfectly normal thing to have hanging above your foyer. <laughs> It's secret. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. One easy one. Come on. <laughs> one by one. It was another time. It was another time? It was. Hey, at least there's no puzzle for putting the pieces in, too, on top of just getting them. Why? It was mine. Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Watch one of my multiple seminars I've hosted online where I constantly appear to be on the verge of tears. <laughs> Have you heard about what they're doing in China, Riku? <laughs> I don't like this world where Jordan Peterson has a cool voice. <laughs> Instead of Kermit the fucking frog. Yeah, yeah, the, the Muppet world was also consumed by oh, Kermit no. the Heartless. Oh my god, I want a Muppet world. Right? Every uh, Sora, okay, Sora, Donald, and Goofy all being Muppets too for that world, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. Like, and they, they uh, rework the camera system so you never see anyone below the waist in the entire uh, world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ideally, it would totally change into an FMV game for for oh, while yes. you're in Muppet Studios, but I understand. I, I can only ask so much. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think, would Muppet World be based on any specific Muppet movie or anything, or...? I mean... I feel like you could just do a Muppet Kingdom Hearts. That would yeah. be the, uh, uh, I'll, like a whole spin-off. Yeah. Where they, they remake the first game, but it's the Muppets doing it, and it's all very silly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, no, I, th I think... The one way you could do it is just do essentially the Hundred Acre Wood in this game. Oh, While you're going yeah. around and and Sora is helping uh, the Muppets put on a show. Uh, uh, it's like oh. themed to the Muppet Show. Yeah, right? that would be that oh, would be. A... Is Sora the the very special guest star? Maybe. <laughs> mm. Yeah, a another mini game world actually makes a ton of sense for the Muppets. Yeah. Yeah. So he shows up and he's like interrupting pigs in space, or he's like uh, uh, doing ingredient prep for the Swedish chef. <laughs> yeah. Kermit could do battle, though. <laughs> I, saw I, mean, I, I wouldn't say no to a Gonzo summon, just firing himself out of cannons at people. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just being reminded of that one recent, like, Disney crossover gotcha game that's just, you know, assemble a team of Disney characters and have them do battle. But, like, mm -hmm. they have all, like, new character designs to make them look like they're ready to, to fight, and Kermit is, like, a <laughs> bard with, like, knight's armor on or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he, I remember just seeing a screenshot where Kermit was currently equipped with an epic loot or something like that. <laughs> and it's just like, god damn. It's close to a banjo. I'm, I'm not that mad about it, I guess. Yeah. It's very silly. <laughs> god. Now I'm just thinking about... The, the, like, 400 characters I would need to, to be happy with a Kingdom Hearts Muppet world. <laughs> mm -hmm. You gotta have the Flying Zucchini bl Brothers, or else what are we doing here? Marvin Suggs yeah. and the Muppaphone. Can't yeah. miss. Can't skip them. You're not gonna make it, boys. Where are you going? <laughs> God, yes. Th this area is very funny to see Donald and Goofy glide because they cannot... They just plummet to their doom over and over. Oh, bye. Oh, the the introduction to the world, like the the title screen is like Atlantica or Agrabah or whatever. Uh, Wayne and Wanda are in it, and then they get crushed by something before <laughs> uh, the the logo finishes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Such a leisurely glide Sora has. Mm -hmm. Looks really mm -hmm. relaxing. Also going back here because I forgot a treasure chest. Just think Can't what a, a Muppet Studios Kingdom Hearts world would mean for like the, the degrees of separation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bernadette Peters and Maleficent could hang out. 
Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the type of stuff I really want Kingdom Hearts to do in later installments, but I'm almost for sure it's going to be relegated to, hey, we acquired Marvel and Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You got to put Marvel and Star Wars in your next Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Which, like, I'm not saying those won't be fun. I think both of those will be very funny in the context of Kingdom Hearts. Everything, if, if there's one thing I've learned in my years on this earth, mm. everything has the capacity to turn out well. Yeah. Not many things do, if you count all of the things in existence and then give them a thumbs up or thumbs down, sure. Mm. But <laughs> everything has a chance. It's, for me, it's just gotta be like, okay, if they do a Marvel world, it'll probably they'll probably just do Avengers, right? Just to get the the, mm -hmm. the whole thing in. It's the it's the full Marvel brand. Is it just gonna be a hyper quick adaptation of Endgame? <laughs> Is Goofy gonna witness Tony Stark die? I think if if you're gonna make it MCU, I think you'd make it the first Avengers. Oh uh, yeah. I, I guess that makes the most sense. The, the best way to go about it is to just do like 60s, 70s Marvel in New York. Like all mm. the, the New York based characters running around in a, a, a very like, I don't know, Steve Ditko looking uh, a cityscape. Right. It is very funny imagining the prospect of like uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 or whatever having a, a Star Wars world in it mm -hmm. because God, some of the later Kingdom Hearts plots are almost one-to-one -one Star Wars things happening. <laughs> there is so much language between those two mm -hmm. properties that are essentially the same thing. <laughs> Sora, you've turned off your Keyblade computer. What's wrong? <laughs> Finally, the dream of a lightsaber Keyblade will happen. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it won't. I, I, I would also really like that. Now, a lightsaber Keyblade that has the ability to cleave things completely in half. Mm. That's what I want. I, mean, I think what I'd want instead is something uh, with like a, a clutch together, hand me down droid look for the Keyblade. But oh, yeah. They're not yeah. asking me. <laughs> it, it's probably not nearly. It, it, it's. I think it's a better idea and it would come out better looking, but I don't know if it's as mm -hmm. merchandisable as a <laughs> uh, lightsaber Keyblade. Yeah. We're in a brand new, like, game original world, and you know what that means? I got nothing. I got nothing to bring to this. I got... Yeah. Hollow Bastion is just big and a little... Like, it's not as confusing to navigate as some of the Disney worlds because it's got more unique-looking rooms and stuff, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's still a little difficult to navigate just because... There's more, like, lifts with switches that change where they're going to and stuff like that, so it can be take a little bit to suss out, like, okay, here's the route that is actually progress and not another treasure room. <laughs> uh, yeah, the game just gets a bit more serious with the Heartless it's throwing at you, too. All the guys here are pretty strong and fairly beefy and have a lot of health for the most part, except the little wizard guys. They take, like, two hits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's also funny. Whenever you get to, like, the end of a Kingdom Hearts game, yes, you do start getting to the original worlds where 
more of the plot actually happens <laughs> compared to Disney World, where frequently it's just, yeah, we yeah. did the movie very quickly. Yay! Uh, you're, you're telling me that Monstro wasn't full of plot? Mm. Well, Re well, Riku was there. Riku was there, yeah. Basically, yeah, you could kind of skip all the worlds where Riku isn't there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Neverland has Riku too, so... Gotta keep that one in. Uh, Force. But I always just enjoy the uh, the like tone shifts you always get in Kingdom Hearts games when it's like, okay, it's the the new like original worlds that aren't based on Disney properties because it's always when like the really serious sounding JRPG music starts to kick in. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, sneaky, sneaky secret, secret. Very secret. It's a sneakret. It is absolutely a sneakret. It's better be good. Is it's a good good? accessory, yeah. Okay. I was worried it was just going to be a mithril shard, not even a whole oh, mithril. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, oh, what sucks, though, is that you just got to drop down and go back up and yada uh. yada. Yeah. Um... But no, I forget exactly what the stats are for the Royal Crown, but it's a pretty good boost, like, all around for everything, if I remember correctly. It makes Maleficent think you're a princess, so she puts you in your, her laser crystal machine. Yep. Big misunderstanding. Yeah, what's going on with the laser crystal machine? <laughs> uh, we kind of didn't talk much about that yet. We were talking um, about Riku, yeah, <laughs> yeah. while that was happening. But, I mean, yes, it's it's the, the plan kind of mentioned a couple times before where they are trying to gather the, the princesses yeah. of a heart yeah. to open a mysterious door to somewhere. Mm -hmm. A door to darkness, perhaps. A That's door to darkness, door. maybe. That's what talked about. Yeah. A, a door that will somehow attain them uh, godlike power, maybe? <laughs> and yes, you do that by gathering all these ladies, uh, mm -hmm. hermetically sealing them, and, yeah, having lasers shoot out of their heart at a door. A portal. And stretching the definition of princess. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Force. I've always thought it's funny that, you know, Kyrie is one of those... Uh, uh, princesses of heart or whatever. I just think it's very funny that they kind of just... Like, do they have to ask Disney permission? Be like, okay, so we technically mm. kind of want to make Kyrie, this new original character, a Disney princess. Are we allowed to do that? What's the process here? Is there paperwork? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you gotta get her, her uh, uh, papers. Uh, what, what kennel does she come from? <laughs> I wonder if it's harder to get Alice uh, uh, included in the set than it is to put a, an original character in there for your original plot. Mmm, yeah. Force! Chest I can't even see. Of course not, he's a child. <laughs> Sora can't look up. He's like a pig in that <laughs> way. <laughs> Yeah, eventually right, everything. We got a crown. We got a belt. We got yeah, a, all our steps in on a, on our pedometer. Uh. Sora's all kitted out. One of those things where I wish you could see the equipment he's wearing. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there's a special heartless here. It's uh, really fast, and you can't see it. You only know it's there because sometimes you'll get hit for no reason, and you can lock onto it. Does this? Does the stop command help? It does. With that? Yeah. Okay. It's just. Th Can you see it if you stop? Yeah, if you s stop okay. it. Okay. There you go. There we go. Oh, he's got a little, little grabby hands. Mm hmm. Come on. Yeah, it's one of the little soldier heartless from earlier in the game, but just way more aggressive and invisible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sometimes they will drop again. Rare crafting items that you can't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. 
These guys. These guys. I like their design a lot. They are fun little dragon guys. It's just, it's very easy to fall off the ledge while fighting those guys. Mm -hmm. And then have to backtrack again. Unless it's goofy. We'll catch up. Uh, also, it's a rare drop. Uh, I do think I get it in a later video, just not our first time going to Hollow Bastion. Uh, those shield guys can drop their shield as a shield for Goofy. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes. The keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it. And the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah. Impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. will be unseen. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! Does Maleficent really consider herself evil? Mm. Mm. Are are we being true to ourselves here? <laughs> so yeah, Maleficent shoots giant meteors uh, mm -hmm. all the way across the arena. She spawns the shield heartless a lot. Um, and yeah, sometimes you can just jump up onto her little hovering platform here to get her, but most times she's too high up, so you got to damage her platform until she falls down to the ground so you can reach her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's about it for her. She, it's, <laughs> there isn't much else strategy for Maleficent. You just gotta execute on what I just said and... You, yeah. you just gotta bonk the lady. Just you bonk just, the lady. Just bonk the lady. If you can't bonk the lady, bonk her, her little, little platform. Yep. Um... Away. And yeah, that Ars Arcanum ability, Away. I was just using on her a second ago, just that... The mover sword just flips out and deals a lot of hits very rapidly. <laughs> I learned this from a pirate. <laughs> I was inspired to do this cool move by killing a pirate. Indirectly, <laughs> the gator did it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, if that gator was a summon, this game would be over already. Yeah. Gator loves to eat people. <laughs> Piece by piece, as it turns out. Mm -hmm. Odd numbers with these reports, right? Why 
hasn't she turned into a dragon yet? Hmm. All right, number five. I watched a little guy. <laughs> that little guy tried to go somewhere. <laughs> I tried to follow, but then something unrelated happened. <laughs> He's not a very good scientist. This is more of a <laughs> hobby for him. 